Hi, this is a tutorial on how to create your own customized backgrounds for SparkBoot using Paint.net. So to start, go into SparkBoot and select the photo layout you want to customize and just take a photo with that. And then when you're done, bring that photo into Paint.net, clicking File, Open, it's in your Documents folder, under the SparkBoot folder, here's the layout. So here I have a 2x2 two two layout with space on the bottom for customization. And what I want to do is add a logo and some text. So to start, I'll add the logo. First thing you want to do is add a layer. You'll be putting your um, customizations into this layer here. And I'll open up my logo file. So here's my SparkBoot logo. I'm going to hit Control A to select the entire image and Control C to copy the image. And I'm going back to the photo layout. Make sure I have this new layer selected. And I'm going to hit Control V to uh, paste it in. And by having this background here with the photos, you can tell like where you want to, you know, it helps to guide you to position any images. So I want to put the Spark Booth logo here. And now I'm going to add some text underneath that. So I'm going to create another layer, make sure that's selected. And now you select this text tool here. Go up here and select the font you want to use. I'm going to select Common Sans and make that 36 in height and then you click down here where you want the text to go okay there we go happy birthday Jimbo and grab this to position this text where you want it. I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And then that's it. So now I'm going to turn off this background image by unchecking this. And now we just have the graphics we want to put in the background. And I'm going to export this by going to File, Save As, Save it on my desktop. And you'll want to select either PNG or JPEG. I'm going to select JPEG and my call it my background. So, okay, flatten it. Okay, now it's saved. So I'm going to close this out. And we're going to go back into Spark Booth. I'm going to go into settings, photo layout, and here I'm going to select the background I just created. My background. And there you go. There's the preview. It's selected and done, and you just hit close.